I'm going to show you how to do a oil change on a 2016 Nissan Rogue. Real simple. No need to pay your dealerships or your mechanics to do this. Pretty simple on this car. Um, I'm going to go step by step. Show you exactly what to do. Alright, let's locate the stuff first. Alright. Your oil filter is right behind this. So instead of taking this whole thing off here... You got these little plastic screw knobs here. Just get a screwdriver, you know, click them out, and then you can just pull them right out with your hand. Literally takes two seconds. Right here, a little shield, plastic shield, and your oil filter is right there. But there's actually an easier way to get to it. There, simple. All right. Right there is your drain plug, real simple. I mean, you don't even really have to jack this car up. There's enough ground clearance. I mean, I jacked it up a little bit just so it's easier to kind of get my hands in there and everything. But again, real simple. Nothing that a, a normal, guy with basic mechanical skills cannot handle real real simple make sure you take your oil dipstick out and make it flow out a little bit better tools you're gonna need for this project is a oil filter pliers a 14 millimeter socket for the drain plug and a ratchet okay so get your oil pan you know underneath your drain plug it's gonna shoot out a little bit so I did record this somehow it got erased or I thought I was recording it but it didn't record so just get your oil pan, you loosen it up with a 14 millimeter socket, and let all the oil drain out. Also, make sure you do it on a flat surface. Um, and as you can see, I mean, I really didn't lift this car up at all. I kind of just lifted it so I can get to the drain plug a little bit easier, but wheels aren't off the ground or nothing. Okay, so when it's just about done draining, um, the oil obviously then what I do is I take the oil filter off um, some people you know wait till all the oils out and then they take the oil filter off it doesn't really matter but I like to take the oil filter off while the plug is still off just in case there's some oil that kind of is in that area but whatever you do make sure the plug is back in before you add oil this is the oil that I use. Uh, I try to use this as much as I can, and it's a real well-priced oil. It's Mobile One Extended Performance Full Synthetic Motor Oil. They say you can get up to 15,000 miles. I don't recommend that. You know, you should still do it every 6,000 miles, 8,000 miles. Totally up to you. Um, but it's good to know you have that extra protection. But if you do use this motor oil, I recommend using the Mobile One Extended Performance Filters. Again, in case you forget, you get a little lackadaisical, uh, you know you have that extra protection up to 15,000 miles. But again, I do not recommend you go a full 15,000. Okay, so now we're going to take the oil filter off. Like I said, real simple. We took those three tabs off, those three uh, tap screws, to open up this area so you can get at the oil filter. Um, I'm going to use the oil filter pliers, but the technician, I guess, at Nissan just basically put this on hand tight. This was really, really, you know, I could have took it off with my hands. I didn't need the pliers at all, but... I didn't know that at the time. 
But anyway, real simple. You know, you can just reach your hand in there now that I, you know, I know that it's loose enough. And we're going to unscrew it and remove it. As you see here. And then we're going to put the new oil filter on. Again, I use the Mobile One Extended Performance um, filters. As you see, get your oil pan underneath there. You know, I really recommend those big oil pans. Tight, You'll man. see it here probably yeah, in the video. The, the you know, I got it tight. catching the oil from the drain plug and the, um, you know, the oil pan is big enough that I can take it off take off the oil filter and the oil that's dripping is catching it from both the oil filter and from the drain plug so there it is you know you can get a paper towel and wipe all that down if you want that's what I do now I'm just dumping the excess oil that's in the oil filter into the oil pan and this oil pan cost me like eight dollars at advanced auto actually I see if I can put a link underneath this video if you're interested in this oil pan I really really like it it's big enough you know that it can get in both areas for this car which I really like and it's cheap okay so we're gonna put the drain plug back in now real simple just screw it on hand tight do it as tight as you can with your fingers there, and then get your ratchet with your 14 millimeter socket. You know, clean up around it if you want. Just make sure there's no oil hanging around. But get your 14 millimeter socket, get your ratchet, and just tighten it up. It's really that simple. Again, you know, this is a Milwaukee 12 volt ratchet. You don't need that. You can just use a regular ratchet. But this this tool I really love. Okay, so once you have your new oil filter on nice and tight and you have your drain plug back on nice and tight, now it's time to add your oil. Get yourself a funnel. And this is where you would pour it on a 2015 Nissan Rogue. We're using the Mobile One Extended Performance Full Synthetic Oil. Like I said before, just start pouring. Be very careful. And like I said, the Nissan Rogue takes 5.1 quarts, I believe. Obviously, once you're done pouring your oil, you know, the best thing to do is take it around the block, start it, let it run a little bit, whatever you want to do, and then check mr. dipstick to make sure you have the right amount of oil so there it is pretty much all into the funnel complete this is a five quart container of the mobile one full synthetic All right, so we're pretty much done. Now we gotta put these screws, these tap-in screws back in to finish the job. And we'll check the oil on our dipstick and we'll be ready to go. With these little screws here, these pop-up screws, you see they're kinda down. What you gotta do is push it up, just like you did with the screwdriver. You gotta grab them up. There you go. Just like that. And then you stick them in the hole. And then press in. Boom. We got one more here. If I had nails, this would be so much easier. And we got the other one is down here.
So you want to take off one, two, and three to get to that oil filter. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to put Mr. Dipstick in and check the oil. Make sure we have the right amount in there, what's supposed to be in there. Really can't see because of the sun glare, but that's pretty much it, guys. It's really simple on the 2014 to 2017 Nissan Rogue series. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to set your oil and filter monitor or maintenance meter inside your car. So, you know, it kind of reminds you when your next oil change and filter change is necessary. So let's check it out. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to reset your oil maintenance meter in your Nissan Rogue. Real simple. All right, you're going to have that main screen come up. All you got to do is go to settings. You come down here. You're going to go down to vehicle maintenance by just going up or down with this knob right here. Just go up or down, and this is your enter button. So I scroll down to the maintenance part. Now I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit oil and filter, enter. Now this is going to come up. So what we're going to do is go to reset, enter, reset. Yes. And now we are set. I already set that at 6,000, but I will show you how to go up or down with that. You hit enter, and if you want to go down. So we're going to go at 6,500. Alright, so that's all we got to do. Hit enter. And that's good.